It's time for KRGV Channel 5's Masterminds, a program geared towards Valley High School academics. With your host, Tim Smith. Today, Harlingen School of Health Professions and Nikki Rowe High School match wits in their quest to become this year's Masterminds champions. Hey everybody, welcome to Masterminds. Harlan's at School of Health Professions and Nikki Rowe in round one competition today. And let's get right to it with our quick start questions. The hands on your buzzers. Here we go, students. We'll start with a math question. Compute the fraction and reduce to lowest terms. Seven eighths divided by one fourth. And time is up. The answer is three and a half. Spell pneumonia. That's uh, Harlingen Jaime. E-N-E-U-M-O-N-I-A. That's correct. You're on the board. What is the square root of 16 121 16 over 121. That's uh, Harlingen Jaime. 8.11? Uh, no. That's Nikki Rowe Jordan. Uh, 4 over 11? That's correct. Change measurement into unit. 23 days equal how many weeks? And that's uh, Harlan and Jada. Um, three weeks and two days. Judges accept that? Yes, or two sevens, three and two sevens, that'll work, yes. Nearest which continent is New Guinea? That's Harlan and Matthew. Asia. No. Thank you, Rowe. Anybody want to ring in? And do ring in if you know. Yes, uh, Raphael. Um, New Zealand? No, it's Australia. <laughs> the combining capacity of an element without, without reference to its ionic charge is called what? And time is a valence. That's the valence. Which scientist do we associate with a kite? That's Harlan and Jane. Benjamin Franklin? That's correct. Name the literary work or the character who utters the line, I met a salesman in the Parker House. Hundreds of salesmen and buyers were at his funeral. And time's up. Willie Loman, Death of a Salesman. Who won the California Democratic presidential primary in 1968? That's Harlan and Jaime. John Kennedy? No. Thank you, Roy. Might want to ring in? And time is up, it was Robert Kennedy. And finally, this president was sheriff and mayor of Buffalo and governor of New York before becoming president. And time is up, that was Grover Cleveland. And that wraps up our quick start for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after our quick start, it's Harlingen School of Health Professions 30, Nikki Rowe 10. Before we go any farther, let's meet our judges who are here once again today from the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Please welcome Dr. Megan Burke, Associate Professor of History and Graduate Coordinator in the College of Liberal Arts, and Dr. Noreen Rivetta, Assistant Professor in the Department of Literatures and Cultural Studies. Give our judges a round of applause for the hard work they do. Okay. All right, it's almost time for Hot Topics. Before we get to that, let's meet the team from Nikki Rowe. We'll start with Noel. I'm Noel Bassan. I'm a senior, and I'm in the robotics team. Welcome. Hi, I'm Rafael Sanchez. I'm a senior, and I'm in Interact Club. Great. Uh, my name is Jordan Garza. I'm a senior, and I'm in NHS. Welcome to the team from Mickey Rowe High School and today's Masterminds. Good to have you all here today. Thanks for being part of the program. All right, it's time for your hot topics. We've got three questions about current events. You don't need your buzzers on this, okay? We'll take the first answer we hear. You're playing by yourself, just your team. Okay, here we go. President Trump recently announced his decision to recognize what city as Israel's capital? That's correct. The December the 8th snow in the valley was the first measurable snow in the area since what year? 2004. That's correct. Name the state embattled by a heated special election Senate race. Alabama. That's correct. All three correct. Well done. Puts you up to 40 points. Well done, Nikki Rowe. Now let's meet the team from Harlan School of Health Professions. We'll start on this end. My name is Jade Olivares. I'm a junior and I'm in the Rotary Club. Welcome. My name is Matthew Garcia. I'm a junior, and I'm a member of the National Youth Orchestra. Terrific. My name is Jaime. I'm a senior at Hollingsden School of Health Professions. Um, I'm the founder of Phoenix Politics and Current Events, which is our political club here at school. Fantastic. Welcome to Masterminds. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, these are your hot topics. Same thing. Three questions, current events, no buzzers, okay? You're playing by yourselves. Here we go. 
What weather phenomenon is being blamed, at least in part, for the rapid spread of wildfires in Southern California? Climate change. No, the Santa Ana winds. Bears ears and the grand staircase Escalante. Why have they been in the news lately? Because President Trump voted to decrease their size in half. That's correct. Name the smash hit animated Pixar movie set in uh, the highlighting Mexican culture. Coco. Coco. That's correct. Well done. That means the score at the end of this first round is Harlan's School of Health Professions 50, Nikki Rowe 40. We're going to take a break. We come back. We'll meet the teacher coordinators. Do quick picks the grab bag round. All that and more as Masterminds continues right after the break. Welcome back to Mastermind. This round one competition today, Harlan's in School of Health Professions and Nikki Rowe. Right now, Harlan's in the lead, 50 to 40. Let's meet the teacher coordinators from the two schools. We'll start with Nikki Rowe. That means uh, you're up, Rafael. This is Ms. Uh, Rebecca Lerma. She's our Go Center counselor for Nikki Rowe, and she's also a sponsor for Masterminds. Terrific. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you. We appreciate it. And Harlan's in Matthew. This is Mr. Aaron Chilla. He's our school's AP Physics, Chemistry, and AP Art History teacher. And we're so grateful for everything that he has done in helping us put our club together for our first year. We're glad to have you here. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. The teacher coordinators who help the teams get ready to play so that we can have a lot of fun here. All right, students, it's time now for quick picks. For this, we're going to show you pictures on your TV screen, okay? Everybody's playing. We'll ask you questions about each picture. You do need your buzzers. Here we go. This is Paulette Adams, a woman who was jailed while working to get women the right to vote. What were these protesting women commonly called? That's uh, Nikki Rowe Raphael. Suffragettes. That's correct. On a piece of sheet music, what did these initials stand for? Forte. That's Harlan and Matthew. That's correct, Matthew. <laughs> you may not recognize the building, but some of the world's most important people gather here every day. What building is it? That's Nikki Rowe Raphael. UN headquarters. That's correct. What is this chemical compound? That's uh, Harlan and Jaime. Hydronitric acid? No. Nikki Rowe. And time is up. Nitrous acid. This is the leaf of the maple tree. What city claims the maple leafs as their hockey team? That's Nikki Rowe Jordan. Uh. No. Harlan, does anybody want to ring in? No hockey fans here. Toronto maple leafs. This is Philadelphia's Independence Hall where the Declaration of Independence was signed. Which Continental Congress was meeting at Independence Hall on July 4th, 1776? All right, Continental Congress. Matthew, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The first Continental Congress? No. Nikki you wrote anybody? And time is up. The second Continental Congress. A polar bear's diet usually consists of what animal? All right, Nikki wrote Jordan. Seal? Yes. This formula is how you determine the volume of what shape? That's Harlan or Matthew. A cylinder. That's right. This famous playwright is best known for the play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Who is he? And time is up. That's Edward Albee. And finally, in what country will you see this flag flying? Argentina. That's Harlan and Matthew. Argentina. That is correct. And that puts you in the lead, 80 to 70. So after our quick picks, the score is Harlan and 80, Nikki Rowe, 70. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So with a score 80 to 70, Harlan's over Nikki Rowe. Nikki Rowe, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes which to choose. You can choose any one you'd like. Um, two. Number two. All right. You've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in this category. If you don't know one, say pass, okay? And we'll come back to it if there's time within the 60 seconds. The category you've chosen is science. All right? Science. Again, 60 seconds, no buzzers. Take the first answer we hear from the team on each one. Here we go. What metal is the best for conducting electricity? Copper. No. The second best conductor is most widely used because it's cheaper. Name the metal. Copper? Yes. What's the term for the outward flow of water following high tide? Pass. At what two points does the Earth's axis of rotation meet the surface? Pass. The invisible phase of the moon is called what? Pass. I'm sorry? New moon? Yes, that's correct. What is the queen bee's job? I have the eggs. <laughs> Judges, no, no, okay. How many atoms are there in a molecule of water? 
two? No. In what cold form is most of the carbon dioxide in the U.S. produced? Pass. Night sight gun scopes measure heat radiation in what range? Infrared. Yes. What can, that's the end of that. Okay. Let's go over, am I correct? Three correct, but you have to 85 points. Let's go over the others. The metal best for conducting electricity is silver. Copper was second. You got that one. The term for outward flow of water following a high tide is the ebb tide. At what two points does the Earth's axis of rotation meet the surface? That's the North and South Pole. The queen bee serves as a complete uh, reproducer, not just lay the eggs, but fertilizes the eggs. How many atoms are there in a molecule of water? There are three. In what cold form does uh, is most of the carbon dioxide in the U.S. produced? That was dry ice. Okay, put you up to 85 points, put you in the lead. Now it is Harlingen's turn. There are two envelopes remaining. You can choose either one you like, one or three. We'll take number one. Number one it is. Same rule, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Pass if you don't know one. Your category, if I can get it out of the envelope, eventually, is miscellaneous. That doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right, miscellaneous. All right, we've got 60 seconds. Here we go. The first and last letters of the alphabet form the postal abbreviation of which state? Arizona. Correct. Riding these animals is the most dangerous event in a rodeo because they weigh over a ton. A bull? Yes. In which century did Mozart live and compose? The 17th century. No. Which language is used in the scientific names for all constellations? Pass. In his will, Albert Einstein left what part of his anatomy to Princeton University? His brain. Yes. What's the letter at the top of an optometrist eye chart? E. Yes. Add one letter to overalls to get another word for a loose-fitting garment. Pass. What's the animal usually mentioned in the definition of the color sorrel? Yes. What is the name of the national flag of the UK? Union Jack. Yes. Tulips are best planted in what season? Spring? No, we'll go back. Which language is used in the scientific names for all? No, we won't. All <laughs> constellations is where we had it. Then we get correct, judges. Five correct, but you have to 105 points. Back in the lead. Let's go over the others. Mozart lived, I know you wanted to do this, in the 18th century. Uh, which language is used in the scientific names for all constellations is Latin. Uh, add one letter to overalls to get another word. It was C for coveralls. The animal usually mentioned in the definition of the color sorrel is horse and uh, tulips are best planted in the fall. Up to 105 points. Now there's one envelope remaining, which nobody chose, so envelope number three. That means we all play on this one, okay? You do need your buzzers on this. We've got 60 seconds still. There's no passing. Category nobody chose is city nicknames. All right? Name the city identified with each nickname and include the state. All right? Here we go. The film capital of the world. Harlan and Jaime. Los Angeles, California? No. Nikki Rowe, Raphael. Hollywood, California? Yes. The Mile High City. That's Harlingen Jaime. Denver, Colorado? Yes. The Windy City. Harlingen Matthew. Chicago, Illinois. Yes. Steel City. Nikki Rowe, Raphael. Detroit, Michigan? No. Harlingen. All right, Jaime. Sounding Pittsburgh. I'm sorry? I don't know. Sounding Pittsburgh. 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 Some, it's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You can't take okay. that. Though. The Pittsburgh of the South. Time was up, Birmingham, Alabama. Gateway to the West, Harlingen, Matthew. St. Louis, Missouri. Correct. Chocolate capital of the world, Nikki Rowe Raphael. Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yes. Bison City, Harlingen, Jaime. Buffalo, New York. Yes. Gulf City. Time is up, Mobile, Alabama. And that's it. Last was going to be biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. All right, so after our Grab bag, the score is Harlan's in School of Health Professions 145, Nikki Rowe 105. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. It'll be time for art and music. Each question worth 20 points. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. This is round one competition today between Harlingen School of Health Professions and Nikki Rowe High School. Glad to have both teams here. Now it's time for art and music. This is where we first go to the art museum, take a look at a piece of artwork, and ask you to identify the artist or the work. This is for 20 points, the artist or the work. All right, Harlingen, Jaime. Pablo Picasso. No? Nikki Rowe, you might want to ring in and try it. 
And time is up. That's Vasily Kadinsky, composition eight. But we have another. This is also for 20 points. All right, Harlan's with Matthew. Rembrandt. Rembrandt. No, not Rembrandt. Thank you, anybody? No, shaking their heads. Time is up. That's Thomas Gainsborough. It's Mrs. Siddons is the name of the piece. All right, that's art. Oh, for two. Let's see how we do with music. Listen carefully and identify the composer or the work. This also for 20 points, the composer of the work, please. <coughs> Greek. Right, Harlan's and Matthew, I'm sorry? Greek. That's exactly right. Anitra's Dance is the name of that. We have another 20 more points. Here we go. This is show Matthew. Chopin Etude, the Revolutionary Etude. That's exactly right. Well done. Knows his music. Got 40 <laughs> points out of it. And that builds the lead to 185 to 105. Harlingen School of Health Professions over Nikki Rowe. We take a break. When we come back from the break, it'll be time for our final stretch. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. It is Harlingen School of Health Professions and Nikki Rowe today. Right now, Harlingen in the lead, 185 to 105. It's time for the final stretch. We're going to ask questions until the final bell rings. Whoever's leading at that point moves on to the next round of competition. So hands on your buzzer, students. Here we go. What line follows you say either in the Gershwin classic, let's call the whole thing off? And time is up. And I say either was coming up next. And I say either. Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic are the eras following the Precambrian era. Give me the meaning of the prefixes Paleo, Meso, and Ceno. All right, Harlan, you have A lot, medium, and less. No. Nicky you might want to try it. I'm shaking your heads no. Time is up. Old, middle, and recent. If you intend to study bats, you should take a course in speleology. What is speleology? And time is up. That's the study of caves. You've been a spelunker. How do you spell occidental? Harlan and Matthew. O X C I D E N T A L. No. Not correct. Uh, Nikki Rowe Raphael. O C C I D E N T A L. That is correct. Trolls, sometimes giants, and sometimes dwarfs came out of which mythology? That's uh, Harlan's and Jada. Norse? Yes. What is the connection between the Star Spangled Banner and the Gettysburg Address relative to the way they were written? That's Harlan and Matthew. Both are written in the aftermath of a battle? No. No. Thank you, Rowe. You might want to try it. Okay, Raphael. Uh, the time period? No, they're before. both written on the backs of envelopes. On the backs of envelopes. Name the two Polish leaders who contributed to the American military effort during the Revolutionary War. And time is up, Pulaski and Kosciuszko. An oligarchy is a form of government in which power is invested in a few. What is an oligopoly? That's Harlan's and Matthew. A monopoly that is controlled by a few. Uh, judges, I guess that's... <laughs> Except that is a business situation where businesses are controlled by a few. Yeah, exactly. We'll take it. All right. The American Indian leader for whom this war was named was tracked and killed in 1676. Name him or the war. And time is up. King Philip and King Philip's War. Name the three postulates to prove general triangles congruent. That's Harlan and Matthew. Cosine, sine, and tangent? No. Thank you, Will. And time is up. Side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, and side, side, side. All right. How many different straight lines are determined by four different points in a plane if no three points are collinear? And time is up. Six. What dairy ingredient would you use in making beef stroganoff? That's Harlan's and Jaime. Cream? Yes. I'm going to give you the name of a chemical compound, and you provide the molecular formula. We have four of these, okay? Here's the first. Lead fluoride.
And time is up. PBF2. How about manganese carbonate? All right, Harlan's and Matthew. M A C O? No. Matthew or anybody? Mm, time is up. M N C O 3. How about silver cyanide? And time is up. A G C N. And finally, mercury chloride. That's Harlan's and Hyman. H G C O 2. No. AUCL2? HG2CL2. All right, we'll move on from those. What's the atomic weight of potassium if the atomic heat of potassium is 7 and its specific heat is 0 0.180? What is the atomic weight of potassium if the atomic heat of potassium is 7 and its specific heat is 0 0.180? Time is up 39. Dustin Hoffman plays Benjamin in The Graduate. Identify Anne Bancroft's role in this film. Time is up, Mrs. Robinson. What did Jane Seymour do that fulfilled Henry VIII's greatest wish? That's Harlan and Hyman. Give him a son? Yes, that'll work. Henry VI. Which animal is the world's fastest bipedal runner? Harlan and Hyman. Kangaroo. No? Thank you, everybody. Time is up, the ostrich. Three tetrahedra are to be used in a dice game. Each tetrahedron is labeled with consecutive numerals beginning with one. What's the probability of rolling three ones? That's Harlan and Matthew. 118? No. Thank you, everybody. And time is up, one in 64. Name the Viking sea captain who established the province of Normandy and from whom William the Conqueror was descended. And time is up. That was Rollo. Four algebra questions. What's the greatest common factor of these quantities? 24x squared, y, and 48xy cubed. Time is up. 24xy. If a race car driver is traveling at a speed of three miles every 90 seconds, how fast is he going in miles per hour? All right, uh, Harlan's and Matthew. 30 miles an hour? No. Do you know anybody? Okay, Raphael. 35 miles per hour? 120 miles per hour. 120. Consider the following equations of two coplanar lines, x equal y and 2x plus 3 equal y. At what point do these two lines intersect? The time is up, negative 3 and negative 3. A rectangle of area 48 square feet is inscribed in a circle with a 78 and 4 sevenths square foot area. Using the fraction 22 over 7 for pi, find the dimensions of this rectangle. And time is up, 6 by 8. We'll move on from math. What is studied in dactylography and means a verification that uses loops, arches, and whorls in the process? All right, uh, Harlan, you're timing. Making roller coasters? <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that one, no. Okay, Nikki, real Raphael. Uh, drawing? No, fingerprints. That's fingerprints. The flags of which, uh, which two Australian states have crowns on them? Time's up, Victoria and Queensland. If you were at the concert hall and someone wanted to borrow your lorgnette, what would they be asking for? All right, Harlan and Matthew. Your program? No. <laughs> Think you wrote anybody? All right, Raphael. Your 
your glasses uh, your too. little yeah yeah that's right we'll take that your binoculars or opera glasses that will work and there's the bell signal at the end of our game our final score is Harlingen 225 Nikki Rowe 125 that means Harlingen School of Health Professions you're moving on to the next round I want to congratulate all the students for a fun game today thank you for being here and thanks for all the preparation necessary to be part of it thanks to our judges here from UTRGV Dr. Burke and Dr. Rivetta thank you for that all right Harlingen we'll see you in the next round we'll see you at home next week for another exciting competition of Mastermind.